Hello everyone, my name is George and welcome to this second uh, Jena tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to, uh, to create a FOV file which is an ontology uh, that means FOV means a uh, friend of a friend and it is an ontology created uh, to um, describe uh, people in the in the, in the RDF format. So basically, you can find the ontology over here in this website. Just go ahead and open your Chrome folder, and in this uh, site over here, you can find all the information about the full uh, vocabulary. So basically, what this allows uh, allows us to do is that uh, we can describe uh, semantically uh, people. So over here you can uh, see in the core of this vocabulary you can see agents, uh, person, name, title, etc, etc. So just click on person and uh, basically the vocabulary tells you that uh, the, a person can have a family name, a family name, it can uh, know uh, other people. You can have a surname, first name, uh, last name, and all these uh, properties and these properties are defined in this vocabulary now to create um, a FOV uh, file we're going to use something that is called FOV Amatic so go ahead and just type in FOV uh, Amatic on Google uh, so, you, so you can generate a FOV Amatic uh, file and uh, basically on this uh, URL over here what we're going to do is that we're going to fill in this form so I'm going to fill this in a second over here just like that So this is an example. You don't now actually have to put your real information. Just type in uh, something. And over here we will type in some people we know. So uh, the file will basically describe that uh, we know other people and this people is a, is a person type uh, of variable so basically I can type in some names for example John and type in some information So I will fill this. So just like that, and we are going to generate some results. So click on follow me. And this is basically an RDF file that is basically describing um, our personal information so this, this doesn't have to be real just uh, it's a way to generate this file and this RDF file we're going to uh, save it on our Eclipse uh, uh, project so go ahead on your package uh, just type in a new and it's going to be a file and I'm just going to name it data.rdf which is a uh, the semantic format so I'm just going to type in RDF and I will copy all the data from the Fofomatic just like that now that I have my file over here basically what uh, we can do with Jenna is that we can read this file uh, from our uh, folder and we're also going to understand what does it mean uh, by using this ontology over here so that's what we're going to do next so right now I just focus on generating this file 
is an RDF file, and the RDF is uh, basically one of the many languages that exists uh, in this uh, for developing semantic web applications. And there is also Total, which is one I like. It's Turtle. You can uh, look into on, on Google. And uh, in the next tutorial, what we're going to do is that we're going to use Jena to read this data, and we're going to uh, extract it and um, as right in the console so I hope you guys like this tutorial uh, if you did just uh, keep watching the next one so you can learn a little bit more about uh, Jena and all these uh, semantic web application uh, things so uh, don't forget you can generate more um, examples in Fofomatic and all the information of this ontology can be found in uh, this uh, URL over here but remember that Fof, uh, Friend of a Friend is only one of the many ontologies that actually exist uh, in the semantic web. Uh, another resources you can uh, look up for it's Divipedia, just like that, which is basically a really big uh, semantic uh, database and is public, so you can uh, check this out. It's really interesting because you can make some Sparkle uh, um, queries over here and you can find a lot of information. So I hope you guys uh, check this out and uh, we'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye bye.